Hello. My name is Noah Childers, and I'm the one with the fading green hair, in case you didn't know. I grew up in the heart of the West Virginian mountains as a small child. In fourth grade, my mother, father, and I moved to this small historic town in West Virginia called Shepherdstown, a charming little place that suited my quiet lifestyle. However, I decided to move to New Jersey to pursue my dreams of acting. I enrolled in a college called Drew University, a little place tucked inside the forest. It was something new, but familiar to me all the same. New start for little old Noah. It took me only a few weeks before I realized that acting wasn't something I wanted to pursue as a career. Even though I've been in theater since preschool, I felt a large wave of burnout after coming to Drew, with this lack of passion for something I had dedicated nearly my entire life to. I felt lost and alone. Shutting myself in my room, I spent a large amount of time inside my own head, wandering the empty halls of my mindscape. I had no idea what I wanted or even could do, and just like that, my entire first and part of my second semester passed me by. Coming back to West Virginia for spring break, I regained some of that energy. It wasn't anything too substantial, but seeing my little town again calmed my racing heart. To my surprise, I actually ended up getting advice from a theater director of mine, Laura Bacon. She runs this youth and adult theater in Shepherdstown called The Black Box, and ever since I moved there, I found my home. She was the one that pulled me out of my funk. She suggested that I combine both of my interests, theater and graphic design, and carve out a market for myself. Theaters need graphic design for so many things. Tickets, programs, posters. My proficiency in both fields could help me find a career in making these designs. She even said she would pay me to work for the black box and help me get my name out there. It was an action built anything from selfishness. I took her words to heart. I came back to Drew with renewed vigor. And even though New Jersey threw a 4.8 magnitude earthquake at me, I took it in stride. I had a clear vision for the future, and nothing could stop me. But here we are. I'm sitting in a somewhat comfortable chair, typing away, trying to create a coherent script for this project. Even with all my bravado, I still get stuck in my head sometimes. A, a lot of times, actually. While some of these thoughts have quieted with time, others have only gotten louder and it's gotten to the point that they spill out onto the page before I can stop them. These are Thoughts from a Fool. I've spent a long time of my life trying to define what art is, and I've come to a variety of answers. I don't know what spurred this obsession of mine, but when it started, I couldn't control it. At the start, I wanted to find a worldwide definition for the term art, but there were too many. Googling, asking friends, scouring forums, and nothing brought me a universally known definition. It took probably an embarrassingly long amount of time before I realized that the whole point of art is that there isn't a definition. Everyone views art differently. Some people think only classical paintings can be considered art, while others believe that video games are art. Why? I, I don't have an answer for that, and I've stopped looking for it, honestly. There isn't one out there. So why would I continue to hunt for a non-existent treasure? Art is purely something that brings out emotions in people. And while some have more strict conditions for art, I'm content to let things be. If it's art, I know it is in my heart. New Jersey is entirely different from West Virginia. Ignoring the fact that I don't have a car and can't travel wherever I want, I feel so alien here. I'm sure that with time, this place will become another home, but for now, I feel like a small prey animal encroaching on the land of mighty lions and bears. Some days I hope this becomes more of a home than Shepherdstown, because I, I feel embarrassed for telling people I'm from West Virginia. Saying that comes with so many assumptions, most of which aren't said aloud, but I know you're thinking about it. Do you think I'm a hick? A conservative? I don't want you to think of me that way. I always have to say that Shepherdstown is truly the black sheep of the unruly pen that is West Virginia. We're accepting, loving, and queer. These aren't things that people think about when they hear West Virginia. Believe me, I know. The best thing we have is probably the blasted song, but that isn't even much better. It's just a little sticker you can put on this dumpster fire of a state. Sometimes, I stand in front of a bathroom mirror and closely examine the face that reflects back at me. Some days, it looks like me. And others, a stranger stares back at me, his face riddled with confusion and doubt he's looking at the same thing I am. Is this normal? I want to assume so, only because it means I'm not struggling alone. It'd be better if someone else was dealing with this with me. Does that make me spiteful? Bad person to wish others hurt as I do? 
Maybe. Probably. I've never been good at this whole thing. Pouring out my internal feelings to anyone, even if they're people on the other side of a screen or projector. I like to keep things bottled up and close to my chest. That way, there's no chance they'll leak out of my heart and onto the concrete floor. I want to say I do this not to burden others with my problems, but am I really thinking of others? Or is this all about me? Am I really the kind person other people say I am? I want to believe their candied words, but what do they really know? The only person who knows you best is yourself, right? Maybe I am a narcissist, a hypocrite, a real sack of shit. I'm only in this world looking out for myself, rising to the top with nothing but the ladder I built all on my own. Look at me, mom and dad. Your perfect son is finally living up to the expectations you've built for him. Maybe I don't want to climb this ladder. But what if I want to stay seated on the floor, content with never really going anywhere? I don't think about the future, past, or even the present. All I care about is how unfortunate my little life is. It all circles back to me, me, me. Only me. That's all I care about. I'm... I'm sure this isn't what people want from me, right? I mean, look at all of you. Sitting down there on the grass or blankets you've put out for yourselves. Watching some kid bitch about his problems that no one really cares about. Yeah, you know what? Let's get meta with it. Everyone who's shown up for this little presentation wants things to be fun, exciting, dramatic. Not this moody shit that I'm projecting. But little old Noah wants to be different. He doesn't want to follow the status quo, even though going outside his comfort zone is infinitely worse. He doesn't want to spend hours creating the best thing he can, only something good enough. This is good enough, yeah? Something to make sure I pass this class? I hope so, because this is all you're getting out of me, Professor Woodring. I've done my work, and finished it on time, and we're all watching with rapt attentiveness because it's interesting now. If you all want me to dance on stage like a monkey, shooting your uncaring eyes at my feet, all you had to do was ask! Then maybe, maybe, I can finally get this incessant buzzing out of my right ear. Maybe my eyesight will be fixed finally. Maybe I'll be the person I see in the mirror, right? Right? Right?